coming to you from CES 2012 in Las Vegas. We're on the hunt for the coolest gadgets, and we think we found one buried here at the Belkin table. Standing with me is Leah Polk. She's the Senior Director of uh, Public Relations for Belkin, right? Uh, yes. I got that right? Okay, good. And so uh, we're holding in our hand a, a relatively nondescript device. I mean, it's not the sexiest looking thing compared to everything else that's around, but it does some cool stuff. It's extremely useful and people are really, really excited about it because it basically utilizes Thunderbolt technology, which is super fast, I think 10 gigs per second. Um, and it allows you to basically have a single docking port for your MacBook Air, MacBook Pro laptop. So where traditionally you have to plug all of these, all of your peripherals or all your devices into um, your computer and then unplug them. And we know how the Air has all kinds of ports on the side of it, exactly. not. Well, but nothing's included in that. So you have to you know, keep plugging everything in, your uh, you know, hard drives, whatever. So this essentially just allows you to have one connection that you access through this little output right here. I see, okay, so now let's turn it around here. We're going to look at the ports here. You're going to tell us a little bit about what ports we have. So I see an Ethernet port. Exactly. So if you're hardwired Ethernet, uh -huh. Ethernet coming into this, then it goes out through the Thunderbolt exactly. connection. What else is going in that's here? That's your power jack, and then you've got an audio jack, and then that's your Thunderbolt uh, download, so you can also daisy chain to other Thunderbolt devices. So if you have a Thunderbolt monitor, you can connect daisy chain via that, that um, output right there. Then you have a FireWire 800, you have an HDMI, and you have three USB 2.0 ports. And one of the advantages is that you know all of these things could be taking up some amount of throughput, but because Thunderbolt runs at 10 gigs a second, exactly. you're never going to take up all of that bandwidth. No, you're going to get everything you need super, super fast. So if you're downloading really uh, high bandwidth files, super fast. If you've got um, lots of different drives running at the same time, it's all going to go really super quickly. Okay, now there's a, a funky looking channel here uh, underneath it. Is that just industrial design to make it look cool, or is there something that, I is there? I think you can actually run cords through there, and this product right here is a prototype, so it might. Oh, I have my hands on a prototype. This is like a, a secret. This is super new, super to the floor. Um, we're just showcasing it for the first time. It actually leaked some this summer, so this might even not be the final device, but we're really hard at work on it because we have a lot of people super excited about it. What do you call this? The Thunderbolt Express Dock. And uh, how much do you think it'll be? It will probably retail for $299. Okay, 300 bucks. And uh, you know, one other question I, I have is um, uh, with Thunderbolt, uh, you were talking about how it works with the Macs. The, the you talked about MacBook Pro, the MacBook Air. What about other technologies, other computers that support the Thunderbolt technology? Right now, this just works for Mac because it is the Thunderbolt is pretty specific to Mac right now. So that's why this is just a Mac. Because right, we have some gear back in this studio that runs on Thunderbolt as well. Yeah. So, but this right here is just for Mac. Okay, well, Leah Polk, thanks very much for joining us here at CES. Thank you. Okay, coming to you from CES, I'm David Berlin.